the people of Perth are inclined to believe that nature has been especially generous to them. Blessed with their own river, they even have their own homegrown pearls. Providing Perth, and indeed the whole of Britain, with pearls has been the task of Bill Abernethy's family for generations. His 82-year-old father still helps to fish occasionally, but having taught his son all he knows, is usually content to watch and recall the really prosperous days when he was just one of 20 or 30 fishermen working in a group. Here, fishing in the South Esk, Bill uses the traditional boat made of canvas and saplings. His is truly a hunter's life. Away from home for weeks at a time, he usually sleeps in his estate car and cooks for himself. Daytime sees him like this, his head inside a glass-bottomed bucket, looking for mussels which he plucks out with a forked stick. Bill is now the only full-time pearl fisherman in the country. That is surely explained by the toughness of the life and the gambler's luck which is required. Bill admits that he once found 300 pounds worth of pearls in three hours, but against that he weighs the black times when days of toil produce no return at all. Even when it seems that luck is on your side, you might still be in for disappointment. Often when the muscle is opened, the pearl inside is discolored or misshapen and completely worthless. but Bill seems perfectly happy with this one. Of course, people ask him why he doesn't seed and produce cultured pearls. Bill's reply, it wouldn't be the real thing. I like it as it is. It's life with nature. Where else does Mother Nature hold such sway? In Perth, there is real Scottish pride in owning one of Bill's pearls. Rosemary McCullum here, a jeweler's assistant, makes them up into tie pins, rings, brooches, and of course, wonderful necklaces to wear with that new ensemble. At this stage, Bill gets back to the river.